Alright, so we're out here in the middle of the night and we're testing out doing capacitive sensing on an AT Tiny uh, hooked up only to a tree. So, Dougal here is touching. We have part of the wire hooked up to an herbaceous part of the tree. We have the capacitive sensing board over here. And then we have another uh, thing just nailed into the tree. And basically we've been getting really good response. So you can see it glows whenever Dougal touches it. And even when he just starts touching it, we actually get a glow. So pull it all the way away and then put it closer and closer and closer. And as he gets even closer, it'll, yeah, get more constant and glow and bright as he actually touches the flowers. This is so cool. And this is all done on an AT Tiny that we had to hack some capacitive sensing code ourselves enable, to enable it to respond to these kind of uh, very thin responses, but we get a really good, robust response from it. When, as he just kind of strokes the flowers, oh man, it's just glowing way better than we thought it could. Uh, oh, this is going cool. So with this, we can really make cheap uh, sensors that we can put into any kind of thing that grows in the ground uh, that holds good capacitance. <laughs> Give it another squeeze for us. Oh, that's awesome. Whoa. Cool. Some of the keys that we had to do were we had to make sure our ground from the AT Tiny was running into something that went into the ground, and in this case, into the, the tree itself. The other thing was we needed to make sure to put a tiny capacitor between the input and the ground on there in order to, to give it this response. If we don't do this, we couldn't program it well enough to give us actual decent uh, response curves from how it would uh, pick it up. Give us one more squeeze, Dougal. That's so good. Cool.